What's up guys? Welcome to Blake's Garage, another totally tubular two minute tool time Tuesday. Today we're gonna go over this 3D printer right here. Ender 3 V2 right here. This thing is super, super cool. And believe it or not, very inexpensive. So I'm gonna go over all the uh, parts that I have on this thing. Basically, I have some PLA Plus, eSun. Uh, I recommend this filament right here. This is the filament, that's what it means. Um, if you guys are not familiar, you know, you can get black, you can get all sorts of colors. This is a little guy that I printed, pretty cool. Uh, just a little holder for all of the tools that come with it, and these all come in super, super handy. I did do a couple upgrades, BL Touch, this is an auto bed leveler. Basically that means the bed, which is the piece that it prints on, is right here and it levels it out. That's probably the hardest part about uh, 3D printing is getting this bed level. And with this, it basically creates a map and it'll tell you like if one side's higher than the other. Now besides that, you still wanna obviously get your bed as level as possible, but it's pretty straightforward. I also upgraded the wheels on here because these things look pretty cool. Um, getting it dialed in is the hardest part, but once you do that, you can print all sorts of cool things. Um, so I'm actually using this upgraded uh, glass bed right here with the little metal piece on the top. I'll leave links down to this stuff all below, but believe it or not, you can get into a 3D printer for right around, I mean, with all the upgrades, 300 bucks, but right around $250, which is, Pretty cool, that's like with everything for the most part. So I just put some rubbing alcohol on the bed here. What I'm gonna do is just clean this up because you can see I have a little bit of gunk on here. So it's very easy to clean, uh, especially with this metal piece. I just put this on, just kind of rub it down. And I've actually been using glue stick on here. I know it sounds kind of weird, but you use the purple little glue stick stuff and it helps the first layer of the bed stick extra good and then you don't have any issues with it peeling up or anything like that so let's get this cleaned off you can see it's nice and getting clean now on button in the back we can turn this thing on it makes the bl touch go on lights up red lights up green when you start doing things loads up the cruelty screen um, what i like to do is i like to level the bed first i do this every time not really a must but i just do it i feel like it i don't know it helps it out or something who knows i just it's like good luck charm for me so you can do that um it'll level the bed out i'll kind of show you how that goes and also during this i'll put the glue stick on right after Boom, so it does that on all the different axes of the bed of the Z level right here. Kind of gets a good idea of how this thing's laid out, makes a virtual map, and then it allows us to basically print. All right, so once I get a nice level bed, this is where it does the first little stripe here uh, for cleaning out the filament. I just literally rub glue stick all over the bed, and this purple stuff's nice because it kind of shows you where you've hit and where you've missed. Um, now, I know I'm pretty much focusing this print right in the middle here. We're actually gonna be making a pack out insert. So what it'll do, heat up the tip, which is the hot end right here. That's the hot end of the extruder. This is what all these things are called, um, which is basically the little tip that makes stuff melt, right? Uh, so I did upgrade that with a Swiss all metal hot end. Um, I'll leave links down to this below as well. But I did do that and I did upgrade this Bowden tube. This Bowden tube is actually what feeds from the extruder, which is this guy right here, uh, feeds the filament. So it feeds the filament down into the little extruder motor thing and then it goes down into the hot end, which is the hot part that heats up to extrude the plastique. It goes onto the bed. So first layer is the most important layer and right now you can see that we are just heating up, get the bed to 60 degrees Celsius, and it'll get that hot end to right around 210 to 230, depending on what I put it at. Um, you can see 205 to 225 Celsius is what they recommend this PLA Plus to be printed at. We can see too, when it gets hot on the, on the bed, it starts heating up, it kind of evens out that glue, which is cool. Um, it does have like a nice little tray. Also, so that you guys know, if you're curious, um, you can load all this stuff from an SD card. It has a micro SD card. You basically load up all the files on the computer. I'm using a cutting software that basically allows me to place it onto this bed. So you can actually place multiple things at once and do multiple prints. However, obviously that will take longer 
but you know sometimes if you're doing an all-day print why not do like four things at once right bed size isn't super huge on this obviously they make bigger ones but literally we can make something this big that goes up to like this high which it's pretty crazy. It's really, really cool. So um, I'll let this thing heat up and then I'll show you how the first layer kind of runs down. So right now we're just making our first layer on the bed. Very cool. You can like watch this thing for hours. Super entertaining, honestly. If you got nothing else to do, buy one of these just to stare at it. No, but really. Uh, so we'll come back. Basically this has two hours and 31 minute print time on this thing. Uh, but let me show you what it's gonna make. Because I know a lot of you guys our Milwaukee guys here um, went ahead and made a little insert. So if we all have these, right? We got the stock trays. Well, sometimes they're a little deep, or we want to, I don't know, mix it up a little bit. Well, on Thingiverse, you can literally download these. You don't even have to design it. Half the stuff you already are thinking about, just type it into Thingiverse, and they may already have it. And then you can alter the files if need be. Uh, super strong, PLA, plastic feels really good but look I just put it right in here and now I have an extra organizer for the top that I could put different screws in and that sort of thing so I just expanded my capabilities here by quite a lot which is really cool to me so I'm gonna be printing quite a few of those this is a really cool one NRG quick release mount so like let's just say you have a couple quick release steering wheels or you got one but you like taking it in your house all you gotta do put it on there boom connected now you connected it to your wall and you have a great spot to store your steering wheel super super cool um also so it doesn't get faded and all nasty like unfortunately this one was black and now the anodizing looks uh pretty gray and i've literally never used a steering wheel oh also the top kind of got lighter and again i've literally driven this steering wheel in and out of my driveway. So kind of a bummer. So that's another reason it's a good idea to store them inside is UV will tear stuff up, but we'll keep on going on this print. I'll check back in with you guys, kind of show you how it's going. But Using Cura, the slicing software, I basically set this up and got the file off Thingiverse and I'm able to use it. So very cool. Even if you don't know how to design stuff, you can literally get in to a 3D printer and start printing like pretty much the same day um, and, and just start uploading stuff to the SD card. Super, super cool. Um, you know, watching a few videos online, you can get it dialed in and uh, start printing, which is, it's really fun. It's honestly like a hobby in itself. Uh, I wanna start prototyping stuff and like doing some other things, but yeah, totally tubular, two minute tool time tool. This is probably not two minutes, probably much longer, uh, but I definitely recommend get, grabbing one of these. I'll put links to all the stuff that I use down in the description, uh, pick one up. Super fun, great hobby, great present, you know. I think the biggest downside to 3D printing is basically the time that it takes to print something. I can actually like fine tune it right on it if you wanted to, if you wanna speed it up. Sometimes I will speed these up towards the end when I start getting bored, um, but not always, you know. We just keep it around 100 and we got the time I like. Later guys, I'm Rincho.